Das Vidanya Tovarish. An authoritarian control freak reg called The Trace is the de facto mouthpiece of any town. An anonymous source advised me that while it is unlikely that the entire staff fillets dead goats, we cannot rule out that possibility. Could it be that they all suck goat dick? Eh, probably not, but we simply can't know for sure. And, statistically speaking, it is far more likely that at least one of them sucks goat dick than it is that all of them do. The Trace ran a pearl-clutching article about how bad 8M3 7.62x39 ammo is because the racist prick who shot people in El Paso mentioned it in his diary. Now, I think Manifesto conveys the false impression that there's something of note here, so I believe it's best to call it a diary. Or doodles, or farts on a page, whatever. In their article, The Trace embedded my video from a few years ago where I tested 8M3. Now, I refuse to profit on the backs of tragedies the way these fucking ghouls do, so I demonetized that video and I will not monetize this video either. But I thought I could do more than that, so I pulled a sneaky on them and changed the title of the video and the thumbnail to what you see here. As you can see, the change to the title and thumbnail appear on their own page, the, the, the Traces website. The best part about it is that the writers and editors at The Trace probably won't see this idea injection for quite some time because their browsers will keep serving the same cached image for the thumbnail and only new visitors to the site will see my version. But there it is. Pretty as a spring flower in the dewy pre-dawn light, a blatantly pro-gun message on a news site owned by Bloomberg, maybe? And at the time of this recording, they still haven't changed the article. Maybe it's just the nerd in me, but I just love the subversive nature of injecting my own political message directly into their propaganda without their knowledge or consent. It's... A little disappointing, but it's not remotely surprising that they don't have any comment section on the trace. And there's some delicious irony in the fact that they probably helped sell any remaining stock of 8M3 that SGMO might have had left. At, at any rate, they definitely had to improve sales for SGMO over the last couple days. There's also a poetic sort of allegory here. HTTPS, networks, servers, all of that stuff are neither good or bad on their own. They, they could be used to host hate speech or gardening tutorials. They could be used to incite mass murder by glorifying the perpetrators, or they could be used to educate and inform. Likewise, Kalashnikov pattern rifles are ne neither good nor evil, as inferior as they may be. And neither is 8M3. It is true that 8M3 is more terminally effective than most other 7.62x39mm ammo because of its ability to fragment reliably while still penetrating adequately when fired from a 16-inch barrel at reasonably close range. Fragmentation causes more cutting and tearing of tissues distal to the wound than is observed in wounds caused by full metal jacket bullets. It also means that a bullet is less likely to kill an uninvolved third party. Both those features make 8M3 a particularly good choice for defense against racist assholes. Or regular murdering assholes. There are several choices in 7.62x39 that also fragment or expand, and some of those choices are much more reliable than 8M3. I'm not interested in the ghoulish discussion of which round is better for mass murder. I'll leave that to the trash at the trace. Any ammunition has the potential to kill, though, and 8M3 isn't responsible for those deaths. Racial hatred and bigotry is the cause. Sure, there are many factors that contribute to the mass shootings we've seen over the last few decades. As I've said before, I hold legacy media responsible for mass shootings, writ large, because they glorify the losers who do it. But the El Paso shooting, Christchurch, and the Charleston shooting are all the result of festering hatred. I'm not going to suggest that we should censor the internet like President Trump proposed. Good lord, could we stop? Stop trying to construct a cyberpunk dystopian nightmare for like two fucking seconds? No. 
Instead, I want to address one of the biggest problems in America today, tribalism. We all play a role in that. You people need to stop with the libtard and similar talk. You need to get over the idea that anyone who disagrees with you is evil or stupid. You're not that great. Seriously. Liberals aren't the enemy. Tribalism and the forces seeking to separate us are the enemy. The overwhelming majority of Americans are good, hard-working people who don't hate anyone and mostly just want to be left the fuck alone. Most of us agree on what's important. Liberals and conservatives both want people to be fed, educated, safe, and happy. We all want to see every human being climb right to the tippy top of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. We just disagree about the best ways to do that for the largest number of people. And we may disagree about the relative priority of freedom versus safety. Now, ideally, we all want maximum liberty and maximum safety. If we got together and came up with a list of shit we agree about, it would be a very long list. You like puppies? Sweet! I do too! We should elect politicians from any party who will pledge to work on the shit we all support and wait until everything else is fixed before even discussing the things that separate us. There is far too much work to do to waste time arguing. So if you're a conservative, Go have a beer with a liberal friend and talk about what you agree on. If you're brown-skinned, go have a beer with a white guy. If you're a Mormon, go have a lemonade with a Baptist. Stop allowing them to separate us. Get out of your little echo chambers and earnestly speak with people without insulting them. Break those tribalist ideas you hold and take people as individuals. Break out of the echo chambers and engage with people that you wouldn't normally talk to. And that doesn't mean you have to tolerate everything, though. If someone says something racist, communist, or anti-vax, they should be mercilessly ridiculed. No one should feel comfortable voicing fucked up stupid opinions. It shouldn't be illegal. It should be shamed. And the only way for us to affect effectively shame them about their stupid ideas is if we break out of our echo chambers and get in their cute little safe spaces. No one should be censored. No one should be monitored by the state. But people who say racist shit should be made fun of as the backward hillbilly fucktards they are. And people who make threats of violence should be reported. 